Oops, home prices didn't crash after all. So we're gonna be talking about supply, demand, what the market's actually doing in this video. So stay tuned. Okay, David Domangos here, and we are going to go live online here and show a couple articles to see what's happening in this complicated and confusing market. It's not a crazy market. It is complicated and confusing. So uh, this article from Keeping Current Matters talk, talks about prices um, didn't crash after all, although a lot of analysts were expecting that to happen. Prices, we'll talk about San Diego because obviously I'm in San Diego. Prices have declined a bit, but nothing to um, create the, the news of a crash. So um, the bad news, uh, it rattled consumer confidence. In fact, last year in 2022, 37% of Americans believed that prices would go down over the next 12 months. Well, the good news is that isn't happening. So um, it's backed up by the uh, FHFA, Kay Schiller, showing that prices are actually back on the rise. Here's, here's a funny thing. So they were shouting with microphones about the crash, but now they're whispering about maybe not being uh, too accurate with their, their news about the market. So let's go to the, I Googled housing supply shortage. Look what we have here. There's just, it's a supply and demand issue more than anything. In fact, depending on who you believe, I've seen um, reports between you know 2 million and 6 million homes need to be built in order to meet the demand for just the United States. So um, I did, what was it? The Atlantic, here we go. The housing crisis is breaking people's brains. So we're gonna go over to the San Diego report here and um, just go back, we'll call it two years. Let me start at the top here. <clears throat> well, we'll go to, um, so new listings, you'll notice um, it's it's kind of become a flat line. We, we need a lot more inventory in San Diego. Um, so pending listings, uh, that's, that's flat here for pendings. Um, these are new pendings. So pendings are staying a little bit flat. Um, sold, you'll notice um, we're back up on the increase 2.1% month over month. So an up 2%, and this is in all of San Diego County, by the way. And then month supply of the inventory, here we go. It's uh, slightly declined. And we'll go to sold public records. So this is where a buyer and seller agree. It sells and it closes and records and, and goes records for the county. And these are public records. So these aren't stats, these are facts. So we'll take a look here. Look at this, the number of properties month over month down, down 65%. So again, supply and demand, we have to meet the demand. And I have another video that you can watch about um, accessory dwelling units. Uh, I'll put that in the description down below. So you can see that um, at least California is trying to do something with you know, accessory dwelling units to meet um, some of this housing shortage, but that's not gonna be nearly enough, not nearly enough. Uh, so number of properties, 292. Um, and back here, we're back up on the solds. Uh, that's 1.8% of the median sold month over month. So right around 2%. Um, so if you're confused, you have every right to be. Um, for some people, I'm recommending to hold off and maybe not buy right now. You know, you see rates going just above seven. Now we're back down. Um, let's take a look and see what rates are today. I haven't actually checked. So let's go to bankrate.com and see where we're at here. So on, well, we're right down. Yeah, we're right about 6.9. So we're right about 7% again today. So if you're thinking about moving to San Diego or heck, if you're thinking about moving out of San Diego, Dave Domingo's here over at eXp Realty. All of my information is in the description. You can call, email, text, do a Zoom meeting. We'd be happy to see what works for you, whether it's now, you wanna wait. We just give the facts and help people make informed decisions. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.